Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence, and I did a video recently on how to embed YouTube videos onto your website, since that has been a great way to put video on your website. However, recently YouTube has changed some of their rules and they've added branding to videos and some controls, uh, including related videos at the end that make it hard to embed a clean video on your website. So in this video, I'm gonna show you my workaround for that and how I embed clean videos on my website and the websites of my clients. So I added a bunch of YouTube embeds to this page with different settings just to do a test. This first video here is just a standard embed from YouTube. So for that, you just go to YouTube, click share, and then click embed, and it's gonna give you this code here with very few options. So I just grabbed those, pasted it here, and this is what it looks like. So, you know, it's pretty standard YouTube video with the controls. If you scroll off it, it does turn into a perfectly clean video, which is good. The problem is when you scroll over it or pause, you have the channel name and watch later some other YouTube links up here and when you pause it you get a bunch of related videos that you can close and then it goes down to a more videos link down here so on the standard embed if someone plays all the way to the end I'm gonna go ahead and click the last few seconds of this video another problem with these is it pulls up related videos when you're done so it's just a bad look on your own website for some people it doesn't matter but um, you know, it just doesn't look good if you're trying to go for like a clean branding. So in this next video here, this is actually a clean embed code. And I actually just put this together from um, other websites and some other changes I added. So basically it's adding a few controls here. Um, you can turn off controls and then rel equals zero is to turn off the related videos. This one actually still has controls on. So that's why this bar is at the bottom. And then let's go to the end to see if it's working where the controls go or the related videos do go away because I have the rel equals zero that turns off the controls. One of the issues recently was that this wasn't working. It seemed like for a while. Um, so it seems like Google, uh, YouTube turned that functionality off where even if you had the rel equals zero, it still put related videos. It does seem to be working now. So that's good. You can at least turn off the related videos. So if I pause here, it doesn't show related videos. And then like I showed you, when you go to the end, it also doesn't show related videos. You still have the YouTube branding at the bottom and you still have this branding and you know icons at the top that you can never get rid of. I've found no way to get rid of those. This next code is the same code with no controls. So you see there's no control bar at the bottom and it goes totally clean if I move off the uh, video, just like the other ones do. If I scroll over, you see YouTube branding at the bottom. And if I click pause, I do have the rel equals zero, which turns off related videos. So if I can't go to the end of this very easily because I got no controls. So you do have some control over YouTube embeds, but those are really your only options that I know of. And you're, it's kind of up to Google and YouTube in the future what they do. You know, they might add more branding. Um, so you really don't have a lot of control and this might be fine for some people just to get an easy way to get your videos up on your website. You might not care about the YouTube branding. Uh, some of it's convenient, like giving people a chance to subscribe to your channel. Um, but if you're not really trying to promote your YouTube channel or YouTube itself, and you just want a clean embed, there are other ways to do that. So what I did finally, after having trouble with clients, you know, asking about the related videos, I just went ahead and bought a Vimeo Plus account. So Vimeo, of course, is another uh, video hosting platform similar to YouTube. It probably has a little bit different audience, and they do have YouTube uh, Vimeo Plus, which uh, I'll show you the pricing here. I think I just went for the lowest plan, which is $7 a month. allows you to upload 250 gig every year, 5 gigabytes a week. So some people might need to upgrade if they're looking for a lot of um, uploads or features. But the main reason I'm using it is because I can create perfectly clean videos with no branding. So I've uploaded a few videos for different clients for their websites. And if I click on one of these, uh, I was able to create an embed template with um, turning off controls. So you can turn off the play bar, you can turn off the volume, you can create actions for the beginning and the end of the video. So there's a lot of customization available and there's no Vimeo branding because we're paying for a plus account. Um, you can turn off all the branding. 
you can create custom colors uh, so there's a lot you can do. I haven't even got into everything yet, but they do allow you to create a preset So I created this website embed clean preset. So any video I embed I can do it quickly embed it and it's gonna go automatically to that default preset So if I embed it on a website, it's gonna have all of these Embed controls or customizations already set. So if we go back to my test page Here is a Vimeo embed of mine it does have the control bar at the top, at the bottom, sorry, that I could turn off, but I usually like to leave it there because uh, it's useful. And then when you scroll off it, it's a clean video just like the um, YouTube videos. You can, of course, pause them. There's some settings here, full screen, and you could turn all these off. There's volume. Of course, if I pause it, I don't get any related videos. When the video ends, I'll move to the end and play the last few seconds it'll just go back to the beginning and uh, the same look that you had at the beginning. I just want to show you one more version. This is using, I use the Divi theme to build most of my sites. And this is the, the uh, version of the video using the video module in Divi. Just gives it a nice over, overlay and a play button. And then it plays the video. And then at the end, it goes back to the original look. So Vimeo is pretty popular, so I just want to show you that it will probably work with different themes you're using that have video modules. Uh, if you're interested in using Divi, uh, you can check out the link below in the description. I definitely recommend it and I've done some other videos on it as well that you could check out on my channel. So if you want to go with the free option and use YouTube to embed videos on your website, definitely go check out that video I mentioned at the beginning where I go over uploading videos to YouTube and then embedding them on your website. If you are wanting to go with the clean look of Vimeo and you don't mind spending you know seven bucks a month uh, check out my link for Vimeo below in the description it is a affiliate link so I'll get a commission if you decide to sign up but those commissions help support this channel and allow me to continue to make these videos to help you guys out so go ahead and click on that next video and we'll see you there